This is Lincoln Electric's SAE 300 engine driven welder. The superior choice for the pipeline world. Its rugged design, 300 amps of output, and industrial diesel engine give you excellent welding performance in pipe, construction, maintenance, and repair. Plus, the dual continuous control makes it easy to set the voltage and current to your exact needs. The control setup for stick and TIG welding are the same. Start by setting the right side fine current and open circuit voltage control dial to 60. Then, set the left side coarse current control dial to your desired current using the dial markings as an approximate guideline. You can make changes to the arc characteristics using the fine current and OCV dial. If you want to switch to wire welding, you'll need the wire feed module. It's a quick adjustment that's easy to install. The module gives you a few more adjustment options like this voltage adjustment dial and this wire and stick toggle switch. Notice that you can still stick weld after you've installed the wire feed module. For self-shielded flux cord welding, start by setting the wire stick toggle switch to the wire position. Then, set the left side coarse current control dial to 270. Now, move the voltage adjustment dial to your desired voltage. Move the coarse current control to the left for a softer arc and to the right for a crisper arc. If you are setting up for gas shielded flux cord welding, the steps are similar. Switch the toggle to the wire position, but this time, set the coarse current control to 150. Move the voltage adjustment dial to your desired voltage and use the coarse current control to adjust your arc. Left for a softer arc and right for a crisper arc. MIG welding setup is exactly the same. The wire stick toggle switch should be in the wire position first. Next, the coarse current control dial is set to 150. Then, move the voltage adjustment dial to your desired voltage. Again, the left side coarse current control can be moved to the left for a softer arc or to the right for a crisper arc. When you're not welding, the SAE 300 is great for carbon arc gouging too. To carbon arc gouge in the constant current mode, set the toggle switch to stick and set both the coarse current and fine current OCV controls to their maximum. If you want to carbon arc gouge in the constant voltage mode, set the toggle to wire, then set the left side coarse current control and voltage adjustment dials to maximum output. Here are a few more tips. Make sure you set your current control before you start welding. Adjusting while welding could damage the controls. Also, with the SAE 300's dual continuous control design, it won't be necessary to roll the rack to adjust the arc performance. All adjustments for arc performance can be made with the two control dials. The SAE 300 is a great tool for industrial applications, and there's an easy setup for each process. If you want more information on this engine-driven welder or any of Lincoln Electric's products, go to www.lincolnelectric.com or visit your local distributor.